Dennis Weaver here from Friday Night Thunder for the District 8 preview for week number 10 of the Tennessee High School football season. Lincoln County has punched their playoff ticket and will enjoy a bye this week. The Falcons will probably keep their eyes on Lawrenceburg as Shelbyville visits Lawrence County in a game that will trigger the playoff dominoes covering the Eagles. For WLIJ in Shelbyville is Rusty Reed. The Shelbyville Central High School Golden Eagles look to wrap up their first District 8 AAA championship since 1996 with a win tonight over the Wildcats of Lawrence County. Shelbyville, Lawrence County do battle tonight in Lawrence County. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock. Shelbyville with a huge win this past uh, Friday night over Coffee County. Put them now atop the uh, district standings. The only uh, other team sitting there equal to them right now is Lincoln County. So a win tonight against Lawrence County gives Shelbyville the outright District 8 AAA championship and will secure home field advantage for Shelbyville throughout the playoffs. A lot on the line tonight for the Golden Eagles. Homecoming for Lawrence County. Shelbyville, Lawrenceburg, tonight, 7 o'clock. Reporting for the District 8 AAA preview, I'm Rusty Reed with WLIJ. This is Jack's Radio. Covering the Wildcats of Lawrence County is Stanley Wilson of WDXE. The Lawrence County offense will need to wake up this week if they expect to soar with the Golden Eagles of Shelbyville. The Wildcats could only squeeze out a field goal last week in a 24-3 loss to Franklin County. The Rebels crushed any Cats' dreams of winning the district championship. The Wildcats will be trying to keep their playoff hopes alive while keeping Shelbyville from a celebration of being district champs. I'm Stanley Wilson for WDXE Sports. Franklin County needs a win on the road at Columbia to keep any slim playoff hope alive. Covering the Rebels is Al Clark of WCDT in Winchester. Well, this is it. It's put up or shut up for the Rebels. It's time to get serious about a possibility of going into the playoffs, and we'll have to do it all the way over in Lion territory. And the Rebels will need perfect games on both sides of the ball to defeat the Columbia Lions. Three straight losses to the Lions over the last three years have the Rebels guessing whether they can pull it off or not but if dj samuels aj blackwell and company remain healthy on offense and we get a game like justin campbell knows he can play on defense we have a shot to find out the final score tonight on your sports leader in franklin county i am al clark for the district eight preview columbia still has a chance to make the playoffs with a win Covering the Lions is Mike Epley of WKRM in Columbia. Friday night will conclude the end of the regular season for the Columbia Lions. They need to win and have some help to advance to the playoffs. There are 21 scenarios that could be a factor. First thing is first. is for the Lions to defend their home turf against District O, the Franklin County Rebels. Columbia is coming off one of their best performances all season. Must win to stay in. Free game 645, game time 7 1340, ColumbiaLionsFootball.com. I'm Mike And finally, Week 10 welcomes back the Coffee Pot Rivalry game. This year's edition is being held in Manchester. Tullahoma is planning to keep their playoff hopes alive, covering the Wildcats' Scott Chastain of the Ticket Radio in Tullahoma. One of the oldest rivalries in the state of Tennessee resumes tonight with the annual intra-county tussle known as the Coffee Pot. Although only Tullahoma has postseason aspirations, history says Coffee County will play its best game of the year. It has been 20 years since the Wildcats and Red Raiders played in the final game of the regular season. Wildcats can finish with a 500 record and a likely wild card berth with a victory in Manchester. The Red Raiders hope for their first win of the year and a chance to keep the Cats home next week. Coffee County hosts Tullahoma tonight at 7. For Sports Radio The Ticket, I'm Scott Shasteen. Coffee County is the only team in the district who has no playoff hopes, but this rivalry matchup gives them a chance to play spoiler to their hated rival. Covering the Red Raiders is Lucky Knot for Thunder Radio in Manchester. It's the battle for the pot. The coffee pot. The 88th annual coffee pot will be played at Cardin Gerald Field in Manchester between Coffee County and Tullahoma. Tullahoma is looking for its sixth win in a row in this bitter rivalry. Tullahoma has won 56 games, Coffee County 29. There have been two ties. Coffee County looking for its first win of the year. Throw out the record book. Who's going to win it? It will be a great football game in front of about 10,000 people. Coffee County and Tullahoma at Cardin Gerald Field, 7 o'clock kickoff. Hear it live on WMSR Radio in Manchester. For Friday Night Thunder, I'm Lucky Knight. That does it for the District 8 Roundup. I'm Dennis Weaver, Friday Night Thunder.